uh, hop on a cure. And we certainly hope uh, that we can do that. And we're pleased to be joined by John Driscoll Hopkins, John, Fran, Charles, and of course your, your good friend Jake Peavy here. Uh, first off, though, for me, why did you think now was the right time to go public with your diagnosis? <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, thanks for having me, by the way. I'm excited to be on this and um, and excited to share uh, this story. Uh, I, my wife and I talked about maybe, you know, keeping this private a little longer. And then at the end of the day, we just decided that we really wanted to be able to, to you know, look our daughters in the eye and say that we did everything that we could to fight. And that means jumping on it right away, um, hell or high water, you know, get in there and try to fight for something that, that can be uh, a positive move forward. So um, we don't have time on our side. So waiting uh, was not an option for me personally. Yeah, Johnny, Jake Peavy here. So good to see your face, pal. And I think it's hey, awfully, awfully brave of you, man, and what you're doing here. I know you're going to fight with courage and, and be an example and a light um, while we find a cure. I, I don't think a lot of people understand the, the toll that ALS can take on, on, on people's body. How, how you've been holding up on the road and, and what has been the, the struggle and the changes. You guys are on the road as much as baseball players and, and delivering on a nightly basis. How's that been? Yeah, you know, I think I started noticing symptoms in 2019. When uh, when Clay was running around during free and jumping, and I was like, <laughs> I think if I jump, I'm gonna fall down. You know, it was this moment where I had this realization that that not only am I, with at the time I was creeping on 50, and I'm thinking, ah, maybe I'm just getting older, but I started noticing problems with going down steps, um, and I still don't have a problem going up, but I'm very careful going down. Uh, uh, my balance issues are probably a little more accelerated, but but generally we believe we're hopeful that I have a very slow progression. So I'm still singing, um, and if I'm still singing it, I'm still bringing it. So you know, <laughs> we're we're on tour right now, and um, it, it's been amazing. And the guys are are very supportive. Um, Danny just got me these these canes that I don't need yet. That's right, but, baby. You know, okay, maybe I will. Thank you. <laughs> you know, and um, <laughs> and everybody's, you know, helping me if, if I seem to be unsteady and um, – <clears throat> Just uh, pulling for me. So well, that's one thing I know about what you got around you and what I, I was texting with Coy and some of the guys earlier. And, and, and I, I know the group around you. Zach Brown is a bad man, y'all. But this support system, when you talk about John, he's talking about singing. You hear these harmonies. You hear a lot of these lyrics and stuff. The Clay Cooks, the John Driscoll Hopkins of the world are, are just as important. And that Zach Brown band extends to a, a crazy family. I know you have tons of support around you. How was it singing the national anthem, pal, out in Arizona? Man, uh, you know, the, the handful of times that I've gotten to do that have been magical every time, and this was no exception. Um, probably even more so because of this diagnosis and because of the, the opportunity to share that story a little bit um, with, with the Diamondbacks fans. And, of course, my Braves were playing the Diamondbacks. So That's right. I'm, I'm invited. I'm like, the D-backs brought me so the jersey, but I've got the Braves hat, so <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a little weird. But um, well, we we had a great showing, and um, the fans were very supportive. I met several that had had ALS touch their lives as well, and um, every single one of the people that I meet that have been touched personally by this have a very compelling story, and I think it's important that we're that we're able to continue to educate um the world on what's a largely misunderstood uh diagnosis so you know the more the more op opportunities to get out there and, and and support our troops with the anthem and to support mlb w with our involvement uh, the better we're going to be able to to be at bringing awareness to this. All right, John, so let's bring some awareness here. Uh, tell us about uh, Hop on a Cure and how people can get involved. Well, I'm Hop, 
So um, you hop on the cure with me. And, uh, you know, um, it's a little odd to, to use your nickname in a, in a charity uh, name, but, but it seemed to be um, something that, that really does work for this. Um, because we we do need as much involvement and as much support as we can get, and we got to, And there's a, a sense of urgency. Um, you know, people are typically diagnosed, uh, and then they have, uh, on average, three to five years uh, before they succumb to the symptoms. Um, and so we're trying to make the the cure uh could be that that we elongate the uh progression or we slow the progression so much that motor neurons can heal themselves and that we don't deal with these uh muscular issues that eventually lead to uh, uh the inability to breathe and eat and speak and uh, all of those awful things so um you know, we're, we want the involvement, we want the encouragement, and we want everyone to hop on with us. Uh, well, John, uh, I know I want to thank you for joining us. I know that bass is still screaming while you guys are on tour. I'm going to let Jake, since you guys are boys, I'm going to let Jake have uh, the last word. But but thank you so much for joining us, Jake. Well, we're going to hop on with you, John, and you got lots of support. I appreciate you coming on Major League Baseball Network. You fight on, my friend. Big day next Tuesday as a pitcher. We'll be watching that first pitch at the Braves game, pal. Deliver for me. Oh, dude, I'm, I've got to practice. Like, I'm like, <laughs> hey, uh, can I make it 60 feet and six inches? I don't know. You got this, pal. And get out and see the Zach Brown Band and John Driscoll Hopkins. Appreciate Good you coming you. on, pal.